Hi, this is Paul Osveto of Windows Phone Central. Today we're looking at a unique Windows 8 app called TouchFox. The purpose of TouchFox is to allow you to play games that were not designed for a touchscreen on your Windows 8 tablet without the need for a mouse or controller. So TouchFox is actually an add-on for a program called Overwolf. Overwolf is a free program. Okay, we're going to launch Overwolf first. You can have it just run when Windows 8 starts up. I wouldn't do that. I'm playing on my original Surface Pro. And once the app starts, you'll find it down here on the side. You can reposition it if you want. Okay. Um, so here's the thing. TouchFox is offered for several different games, like eight games right now, and there's going to be more games in the future. You actually have to buy support for each individual game, which is kind of a drag, but I do have support for the two supported games that I own. I've got The Witcher 2 and Magicka here. So the way this works is you pick the support that you want to run, and then you can choose different skins for the on-screen controls. We'll just go with regular controls. Down here in the preview it's showing an Xbox style layout, but actually when you run the app the buttons are in a different position, which is awkward. Anyway, you can launch the game directly through here. You can also just have it to where if TouchFox is running and you start the game through Steam, it will automatically work. Whoops. Uh, wrong game. How did I end up on this? Okay, so we're launching The Witcher 2. This is a game that supports... Hey. This is a game that supports the Xbox controller, but it does not support touch screens. So ordinarily you couldn't just play it on the go on your Windows 8 tablet. So the controller has automatically popped up. This is a cool feature. And up here we have a frame rate display. That's a touch fox feature, and it can be disabled if you want, but I like to have it on. If you don't want to use the controller, like you want to switch to your mouse, you just swipe on both sides from the outside. Toggles it on and off. Took a little while to get used to, but now I can do it consistently. Okay, so I've got a controller here, and I am going to load my game. You see here's the left analog stick, left D-pad. L3 would be clicking in the left analog stick. Then over here, the buttons are kind of surrounding the stick. A little bit weird layout, but you get used to it. Witcher 2 is a really dark game starting out with, which does not make for a good video, but we'll try to get past this real quick. So, this plays a lot like as if the game had been designed for a tablet, except that you still have to navigate menus with the D-pad or the left analog stick which is a little bit tricky when these things are actually covering up some of the UI elements. Alright, kick some butt. I am playing on easy. It would not be wise to play on anything other than easy. Now we're launching the bolt. All right, now I'm running around. So The Witcher 2 is a lot more complicated than you could get any regular Windows 8 game in most instances, except maybe for like Grand Theft Auto right now. And it is a lot of fun. Wish the game had in-game brightness controls, because it doesn't. And uh, the Surface Pro can just barely run the game, period. But, you know, I had to put it on high power in order to get a playable frame rate. Otherwise it would be like 15 frames or below the whole time. But if you had like a Surface Pro 2 or 3, then I'm sure you would get better performance. Here we are navigating a menu. It's a little awkward to do. But you take the good with the bad. You're doing something that the game wasn't designed for, and it actually works halfway decently. So, having saved my game, I am going to back out of here and show you Magicka.
the controls have stopped working all of a sudden. This is a little buggy. Let's try closing it and then reopening. Yep, that did the trick. Also, if you have a keyboard plugged in and you like alt tab away and you come back to the game, the controls will be unresponsive. You just gotta close them and open them up again. But that is a bit of a hassle. Magica, this is a unique little action RPG. I never especially got into it, but some people like it a lot. Got a save game there. And let's resume. You can see the A button is in a different position for this game, so I guess the controls are customized for the game. But I don't see why we can't have a, a general position or a little more control over it, because you, you don't have any control over this other than choosing different skins. And that's not good enough for me. I want to be able to say where I want these buttons, you know? I could probably deal with the stick being up here and the buttons down here, or vice versa, instead of circling it. But that's okay. Magicka runs at a much better frame rate than The Witcher because it is a much simpler kind of game. So now we're just going to run through here and have a look. Talk to this guy. See, here's the thing. It's showing like X is what to talk with, but you have to do that mental conversion over here because the buttons are not in the right position. So that's not good UI design controller wise. Gotta give me the option to have it in the same way that the game is built for. I'm supposed to be conjuring a life element using the right stick and um, yeah this is why I didn't like Magicka. I just don't get the spell conjuring gameplay. I'm doing what it shows over here with its little example right stick and it's not doing anything. Um, but if you actually know how to play Magicka and like it, then you'll probably get the hang of that pretty quickly. So Touch Fox is a pretty cool idea. It's got some rough edges. I want more control over where everything is positioned. And definitely more games should be supported. Each game costs $4, which I guess they're thinking is like tablet style pricing, but that is a little expensive, I think, if you're going to play more than one game with it. So it would be nice if there was some kind of package deal, oh, you know, for three games or, you know, pay more and get support for all the games. But if you really want to play games on your tablet on the go, then this is one of the best options you've got right now. Thanks for watching. Read the full review at WPCentral.com.